A lot of you have been requesting uh, me to do an Ana on Rank to GM educational series. So here it is. If you want to learn how to play Ana, then um, watch the videos. Will this be it, chat? Will this be it? <clears throat> Hello? I'm going, guys. I'm looking for an 8 in Cyber. Splitting for my team in the beginning. We're all gonna take a fight in Cyber. I'm gonna look for an ugly. They have Tracer right side. Tracer Cyber. She's behind. No recall. Yeah, I don't want to throw the nade there because they're just gonna chase me. They have May walking with my team. Oh fuck. Break the wall, break the wall, break the wall. Kill that Reinhardt after. Kill up my Reinhardt. The 5v5. The May wall is gonna be up again, so I wanna go over here on top. Got to look for a nade. Ana low. Kill up the May key. Gotta get the buff out. I get the pop up, but he doesn't get me out. <laughs> the guy is dead, though. Got the buff. Almost have nano. Careful if Teresa is left side or right side. Guess the guy to knock spawn. She got out. Oh no, the guy in hard fucked us. Guess the guy. He's gonna get caught on the stairs. Of course, she's shocked again. No, I call Tracer. I'm walking with my Reinhardt. Actually, I need to stay and see my DPSs because my buff is with my Reinhardt. I'm going with my Ash right side. Ran, ran, ran right side slipping. This the right side. This is no, you call Cyber. Call that out. Based on how the Ryan was moving over there, I was a juicy shattering. I, I should have gone to sleep that a bit earlier. Should have reacted instantly. We're all regrouping. Tracer is dead, so I don't need to look left or right in this case. I don't need to look for any flankers. I'm just gonna walk in front. Okay, take we play on point. Just play main with me. Hey, don't push for myself. Hello. We are not taking the app. Can I come down? Yeah, guys. Right now. May behind us. Hello, May is behind. Let's go the nade. sleeping. Stay with my McCree. We get one kill. 4 versus 4, I think. We have Bob one point as well. I don't think they have sleep by 4 Bob. Keep up my Sigma life. Spitting from my team right now. The sub to make him, make should be close. I have nano. Call it that I have nano. All nano gun. Careful about the wall. I'm not playing on point. I need to play in a certain angle that the May can't wall me up completely. Probably have shatter. I want to be careful. Make him might flank all the way. Cause I see that they like to flank a lot. Oh, we got one nice juicy kill. Where's McCree? Oh, not this one shot to me. I'm gonna use the nade on myself. Not gonna ask my buff for kill. Still check behind. McCree is dead. May was in front. Cause she did. She is so hug in front. We're go I mean, Ana and May were in front. I heard them. We walk together. They use wall. Do some shots. Easy clap. Play here. No need to extra pick. Because my DPS is like picking, I'm reloading, they wanna pick again, I'm playing close to my Ash. Okay, I'm gonna to do one shot over there, I can't do any shots. I have Nano, guys backing up. They're coming into the team fight, I mean. I'm going left, Mega. I'm going left, Mega. Bob can kill them up a little bit. Careful, border wall. Nano, my guy, hug. Kill up, my Ash. Feed back the guy and hug, that's gonna look for a pin. My gun pins him in. Kill up the ash. Can't kill up. Yeah, can't kill Diana. Need to do some shots to my Sigma. Kill up my Sigma. Kill up my ash. I decided that the map that she was uh, done with life deck. <laughs> that was unfortunate. She got right click by the Zaga when she did that. Careful about a McCree flank, though. I hear a main wall. Walk with my team. 
When they walk in against the main, you need to walk with your team, you can't stay in the back. You all need to walk together. Take me guy side, I heard a sleep dart. That's uh, the wall. He's gonna try to pin, he's gonna try to pin, he's gonna try to pin. This is why I'm gonna sleep dart him at the end, because he's gonna try to shot tag. Avoid getting shot tag over there. I want his Zagas alive. Not on my MP, probably someone's gonna touch, hit the seed on the front. And this is our round. Why would the Reinhardt pin there? Because the Mekri was holding the high noon. If you pin the Rhine shield, he's gonna get a lot of kills. The Rhein should have did, should have done another play, should have went for some hammocks and destroyed him with the field and then go for a pin. But based on how he was walking, it was clear. Or even not pin there, pin somebody into his team. So he's not gonna benefit from mortality field over there. But it was a uh, quite easy read. And then avoid getting shot at the end. Anyway, one more round, hopefully. I'm gonna play from a cheeky ass position. Why? Because I have a Bup and Bup can take care of my team as well. It's not only me. Can I climb on top over here? Don't wanna get damaged. Wanna be in this angle. We get a kill on the ball. Monkey low, monkey low. Monkey's one, monkey's one. This is why. Wanna do some shots? This right side. Walk with my McCree. Walk on point. So we make sure that we don't split ourselves. Kill up my McCree over there. Kill up my McCree. Boss is rolling in. Monkey should be close. Gonna jump in. Gonna jump in. Gonna... No, no, no. Gonna jump in. Okay, they play with dive, so I'm not gonna play that split for my team right now. I'm gonna play very close to them. Very close to them. If possible, try to apply some pressure to Diana. They use nade early, so I'm gonna throw my nade as well. Let's see who gets more value. 30% to my nano. I'm gonna play inside the dojo. I don't wanna give away my position initially, so I'm just gonna hide a little bit. Okay? If they go on bop, I'm gonna try to kill up the bop. They go on bop right now. They go on ash. Try to kill up the ash. Throw the nade. Kill up the ash. Get outside of the dojo. Anna's white room. Anna's white room. Ball's looking to slam, I'm using the dojo as cover. Going the nano, we're to make it walk right. Whistle sleeping. Careful about ball booping me. Look at the bubble. Fisted a little bit. Kill up the ash. Tracer probably has pulse bomb over here. She's close to me left. Bob can keep them up. Yes, I got out. Yes, I died, I mean. And we should have it. Or the speed over there left side. Maybe hits me. Doesn't hit me. Two of the two of the nade in front. Maybe I need somebody that's coming out of spawn. One shot to ball, two shots to ball. They still play with dive. Heal up the ball. Okay, that was good. Follow up on the pool with some shots. I can't. Playing from here, and I'm gonna hide again at the beginning of the team fight. But I need to go help me actually. Imagine if Bob would have died from that post bomb. We get one pick, so I can start playing together with my team. Probably have one more fight, they're waiting for everybody. I'm 50% on my nano, I'm not gonna get my nano. I need to hide a little bit and wait for the team fight to happen. Oh, I need to kill up my bop right now. Kill up the bop. Hide a little bit. Where someone has to climb on me over there. Guess what I call? Split myself from the team. Balls alive, keep about getting boobs, so this is why I'm working outside of this. On a one, Brig is using Gali. Brig is anti. With 3v3. Winston's gonna try to jump in. Winston, 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 Winston. Separating myself from the team. We just don't bridge. Winston on primal. May's gonna use her shift. Still play from cover. Reloading, not picking. Was looking to roll in. Only Helix and Nana. Do a 180, a sleep dart. GG. Hallelujah. <laughs> and I think this is gonna be the GM game. How many games of this account and win rate? We're gonna check it out in a second. Let's see if we got GM. Let's see if we got GM. Oh, oh, oh. Imagine not adding any points. Oh. 4021. Not even 4020. Huge, dude. Fucking huge. Okay. We have talked a lot about this unranked GM with Tana, especially because it's the hero, it's my signature hero, it's the hero that I've played a lot. 
And I deeply hope that a lot of you have learned the thing or two from this entire series. For a general con conclusion of the entire series, if you're a newer player, as I've explained in the first Unranked to GM episodes on YouTube, if you're a newer player, try to focus more on how you want to use your abilities. As in, there's no such thing as, should I use my defensive nade? Should I use my grenade defensively or aggressively? Um, there's no correct answer to that. It depends on what the enemy team comp has. It depends on what you have. And we have a couple of golden goals. As a small sneak peek into just check YouTube for the videos. In, for example, how to play against dive. If you're playing against dive, you need to play close with your team. If they don't play with dive, you can play a bit further away from your team. With abilities. If they don't have, a, if they don't have flankers, you can be a bit more uh, YOLO with the abilities, look for more aggressive grenades. But if they have a Doomfist, for example, or a Tracer, and you want to be separated from your team, you kind of need to use your abilities more defensively. We've also explained, um, if you want to know exactly when to do unscope shots, scope 10 shots, and quickscope, we have a video on YouTube about that, quickscope guides. If you want to know how to play specific maps and SR and VOD reviews for players that are roughly the same, uh, SR wise as you. We have a lot of word reviews on YouTube, especially with Tana, so you can go check that out as well. If you want to learn more tips in 1v1s with Tana, what to do against certain heroes, check my video with Karq, the Ana one tip video. And uh, if you want to see the step-by-step -step process, you can just like check the Unranked to GM videos on YouTube. We just select a couple of them, not all of them. We have the collections as in all the entire streams, on Twitch. You just click on videos and you see the collections and rank to gym if you want to watch all of them, want to watch roughly at the same as Um So, my general opinion, if you're in, if you're a New York player, again, it's about ability usage. Not throwing your grenade instantly, not panicking, understanding how much damage the heroes do, and we've explained this in the first episodes. As an intermediate player, or as I would say as a diamond player, diamond or low masters player or plat player, your main goal is to try to look for windows of opportunity. Remember when I did a big explanation on wait for the Orisa shield to break if they play with Orisa shield and you throw the nade? That's a window of opportunity before the Orisa deploys another shield. Another window of opportunity is throw the nade after the Zarya uses the bubbles if you play against Reinhardt Zarya. Because if you use the nade before, then they will just cleanse the effect of it. That's the main thing that's going to help you to get to Masters. In Masters and higher up, apart from your personal touch and understanding where to play and how to adjust your position accordingly, um, depending on what the enemy team has that we have explained repeatedly, and you can uh, also, my main tip, if you don't know where to play from, if you play from right or if you play from left, it's just copy what the players that you want to play like do. Literally copy them, copy Overwatch League players, copy contenders, copy streamers, copy YouTubers, copy whatever. The one, the ones that you find, um, that you think they are decent at the game and you want to play like them. Second to that, very strong callouts. As in, don't try to hesitate, don't try to be pushed around with your nano and stuff. Just do very strong callouts. Call out when you need help, uh, call out who's sleeping, and don't be baited. Uh, today we've had an example on Hanamura with ball because a lot of ball is being played by Masters tanks or uh, GM tanks or whatever. Uh, we had that Hanamura game where the ball was just rolling around, you know, and was trying to force my sleep duct. If I use my sleep duct, ball's gonna look for a slam because we didn't have any stun and we would not be able to kill him. But if I keep my sleep duct, he's just gonna roll around and we're just gonna look at each other and swear at each other and that's it. And I'm gonna throw the sleep duct exactly when I want it to be. Uh, when I'm sure that it's gonna hit. Another thing about Masters is the the um, window of opportunity that increases, not necessarily around how the enemy team plays with the shields or their team comp, but the window of opportunity depending on how your team is positioned and what your team is about to do compared to what their team does. Specifically, we've had this Blizzard World game, like this one, I think, when I killed the Mercy in the last 30 seconds, because they overextended to do some poke damage while my team was regrouping. And then we explained then that when your team is regrouping, you don't gotta stay with your team to heal them up. You can look for up windows, you can look for opportunities to get some kills or pressure them out of position because the enemy team wants to poke before the team fight starts. And you want to. Um, you can just try to search for some kills because you're not gonna do anything for 5 or 10 seconds until everybody regroups. If the enemy team comp allows you to do so. Uh, 
We've talked a lot about positions, we've talked about animation cancels, we've talked about reload management, we've talked about uh, some strengths in support combos. We've talked about literally that Tana Brig is, is broken as fuck right now until they're going to uh, nerf Brig. And I think it's gonna be broken still then probably, if Brig is played. If the enemy Ana doesn't land a nade, we've talked about all of this. We've talked about nano usage. If you want to know more about how to use the nano, we have a video on it, on how, on who to use the nano and when. Uh, we have a, a document on what to play, which support and uh, which strength, the strengths and weaknesses of which support. You can just check out. Uh, the mods are gonna give you the link to the uh, Google Docs for it. And um, for me, as a summary of all of this, when we first started streaming. We, I was feeling like, bro, I'm streaming on top, I found a player, but that's not enough. You all have changed our lives, and we wanted to give back to the community by doing a lot of educational content, because all my life, uh, I've noticed that a lot of people have been saying that I know how to explain things. This is the reason why we've been doing a lot of uh, coaching like this, of an rank to GMs educational-wise. I know that a lot of people um, don't, don't agree with them, but at the same time, I think this is the fastest and the most efficient way to teach a lot of people at the same time because I can do vote reviews but a lot of people don't want to watch vote reviews if they if it is not their vote review so this is something very important this is why I wanted to do specifically going to GM um, and as a yeah like this is what I wanted to do I want to help people out to play the heroes that I play that I know and I talk about I know I'm a Decent Ana, I know how to play Bop, I know how to play Mercy, I know how to play Moira. And for me to give my insight and help people that are playing the game casually, or have been stuck at a certain rating, or love the game and they can't climb, maybe even change in attitude, maybe even you're, if you're a tank player and you want to understand how the support plays, this was the entire goal of every rank to GM, every VOD review that we've done, every tips video that we've done, and I hope that a lot of you have been influenced in a positive way by this so yeah um yeah that's about it to summarize the anna thing the anna challenge and um one thing um about the information okay one thing that i wanted to say whenever you want to study something okay and you need to understand this. If you want to get to take the game seriously, the majority of us aren't talented. The majority of us need to work hard. The majority of us don't get things from dropped on them from the sky. You can't just hop in game, do some clicks, and you have God aim, and that's it. The majority of us need to hard, hard work for it. The amount of information, and we're going to try to create a small database of every educational content that we have provided so far. So you can like search easier which maps to play, how to play, what we have talked, but that's going to take some months. Or maybe a, a document that explains that. The majority of us just need to work hard. And you need to understand that if you want to get a certain SR, maybe uh, because you want to be a gamer, maybe because you want to be a pro, you want to be a caster, you want to be a streamer, maybe you just want to have fun with your girlfriend or boyfriend, maybe you want to impress your friends, maybe you just are just want to play the game for fun, or maybe you're just sad, some things have happened and you want to go inside your own world and just play the game for a little bit. Don't be discouraged when you start learning uh, any educational content in gaming. Don't be discouraged because you know how you need to view it? It's like my law school books. They're like this fucking thick, dude. Like they, they're fucking huge. So take it step by step. One day, one stream, you learn one position, one combo, one thing. That's all you can do. As a quick summary, for example, for a, a quick summary, as a, as a general, as, as a small thing for today. Look, for instance, when the enemy team has Doomfist, do not use your sleep target and nade aggressively. Wait until you see the Doomfist. If the Doomfist is on you, use the abilities for yourself. If the Doomfist is on another side, then you can use your abilities aggressively. Another tip. If um, you play, uh, if they play on a brig, you need to land an aggressive nade if your team is playing with dive, because they need to be anti because otherwise they're literally unkillable. Those are just two things out of tens of thousands of things. So as long as you take it step by step, you will be a better player than before. So yeah, I hope some of you will find inspiration and climb in the SAG. And I hope um, 
this was useful.